So the gastrocnemius is a, a two-headed muscle. It has a, an attachment to the medial lat, uh, uh, condyle and uh, lateral condyle of the, the femur on the posterior aspect and obviously the posterior capsule of the knee joint as well. Its insertion is into the, the heel bone or the calcaneus by the tendo Achilles. It's an important muscle raising the body and propelling the body forwards when we're walking. It assists in the external rotation of the knee during the push-off phase and during gait and aids knee flexion during the swing phase. So it's a very important muscle and it's a big bulky muscle one can see and is very prone to trigger points, especially in runners and, and other people. Its referral pain patterns can actually go sort of all the way up on the medial side to to even up to mimic the sort of ha hamstrings in a, in a way, and even down into the heel, in the area of the popliteal fossa. But often people where they will feel the pain is on the medial part of the belly or the lateral part of the belly. For gastrocnemius, the patient will be lying prone with the ankles supported with the towel. That makes it a little bit more comfortable rather than having pushing on the edge of the bed. Again, we will use a, a sort of 30 millimeter needle. Sometimes you can use a bit bigger but a 30 millimeter needle will not suffice. We would identify the myofascial trigger point and insert the needle in a lateral medial direction for the medial head or a medial to lateral direction for the lateral head. And you need to be sort of be careful not to go anywhere near the popliteal fossa, the same as for the hamstrings, staying below the knee in order to avoid these sort of popliteal structures such as the nerves and the um, and the blood vessels in the area. Be aware of the location of the perineal and tibial and sural nerves. The perineal, especially the superficial perineal nerve, so it's very close to the lateral head of gastrocnemius. So you don't want to be fishing around with a needle down here by the head of the fibula. Um, and be careful of the various neurovascular structures in, uh, in the area and work um, with the patient to get feedback. So again, we will insert the needle and into the gastro the muscle. You can pinch the muscle, find the trigger point, lateral to medial direction for the medial head, medial to lateral direction for the lateral head. The idea is to isolate the muscle and the trigger point and then um, insert the needle accordingly. If you found this video useful and want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe below and don't forget to hit the notification bell.